Hi, Jen Delaney here, and today I wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about trusting the client. So there's a misconception that therapists will provide advice. And what we really learn in our programs is to hold space because people really do have their own answers. And sometimes it takes some really big emotion to get to those deeper insights. Naturally, we're taught to provide guidance so that people can access that. I also studied brain spotting, which is a very effective somatic form of therapy that accesses the deep brain and clears trauma. And it's, it has long lasting um, beneficial effects. And one of the things that Dr. David Graham, the creator of brain spotting, taught us is the acronym WAIT. And that stands for Why Am I Talking? Because sometimes a client could be in a deep state of processing, and if we interrupt that process, we again rob them of the opportunity to come to their own insight. We might have some brilliant idea we want to share, and we're taught to wait, wait till the end. If we still want to share that, we can. But in the meantime, people may come to a completely different answer for themselves, or they might come to the exact same answer, but they've done it in their own way, on their own time, and through their body. They are embodying their own truth. And so, you know, sometimes a client will ask me my opinion or have some questions, and I will turn it back to them. And later I might, you know, share, share my own anecdote or, or my own sort of feeling about it. But ultimately, if my own idea of, of where they should be going is in opposition to theirs, then I don't share that. Because often when I turn the question back to them and they sit with it for a second, they come up with an answer. And so the key for us is not to be giving advice, not to be thinking that we have some brilliant idea about where someone should be going, but provide the loving, unconditional space for people to do their healing work. So take good care.